So we're having a, a living of the fire war, the Lord. So we were having the meeting of the Mayapur Executive Board. And uh, when I start out to participate in this program. When I out to participate in this program. Mahakrishna Swami was always connected to the Mayapur project. Mahakrishna Swami was always connected to the Mayapur project. And he was such a person that when Prabhupada had a difficult work, he was entrusted to his holiness. He was such a person that Sri Prabhupada had a difficult task, he would entrust it to his holiness. So Prabhupada wanted to buy land right for and uh, at that time Price was eleven thousand rupees a year. So Prabhupada wanted to buy a land in Mayapur. At that time, the price was eleven thousand rupees a year. Now, ten or twenty to thirty-five lakhs per kata. So now it is even ten or twenty or thirty or thirty-five. Land rupees to Kata. And uh, 20 Kata is a Vida. And 20 Kata is a Vida. So, he gave the money to buy, I forget how many Vidas, 11,000 rupees a Vida. So, he gave the money, I don't remember exactly how many figures, but 11,000 rupees per Vida. And he gave the money. So, and he gave the money to Kamal Krishna to Swami. Kamal Krishna was Swami wanted to be sure that he fulfilled Prabhupada's request. Kamal Krishna to Swami, he wanted to make sure that he fulfilled Sri Prabhupada's request. So, our sense is only a hundred rupees now. At that time. Since there was only a hundred rupee note at that time. And uh, so he wrote the serial number on each note in the hands of the. So he wrote the each serial number of the each note in a transfer deed. The sales deed. The sales deed. I love how he writes the serial number of the bills. Normally he writes the serial number of the bills. But he wanted to be very sure that he was carrying out Prabhupada's order. He wanted to be very sure that he was carrying out Sri Prabhupada's order. Extra careful. He wanted to be extra careful. And we were building the uh, oldest building that we had rock steel and cement and things in Calcutta. So when we were building the lotus building, we brought steel and cement from Calcutta. And uh, I remember riding in the trucks. So I remember riding in the trucks with Tamal Krishna With Tamal Krishna And uh, Truck driver stopped and on Jolly Baba. 
and the truck driver stopped at what Punjabi Dabba. And Sadhguru said, please take some nice hot milk. And he said, you should please take some nice hot milk. So we need a hot milk. And someone told us, there's still your iron. So while we were drinking the hot milk, someone told that, that they are stealing your iron. Throw it in the ditch. We are throwing it in the ditch. Uh, so we ran out and sure enough, we saw that they had thrown uh, iron rods in the ditch. So when we ran out and we saw that it was for sure enough, they had thrown some iron rods in the ditch. So he was going to write austerity, writing on the lorries, buying the property. So he was beginning to take his austerities, riding on the lorry, lorries, finding the property. The only thing to please Prabhupada. He did everything to, did, to please Srila Prabhupada. That Sarva's service continued to his last breath. And that selfless service continued to his last breath. Uh, Hades, uh, he uh, started Haridam Kirtan. In 1980s, he started this Haridam Kirtan amongst the GBC members. Amongst the GBC members. Now we have the Kirtan Mela. Now we have the Kirtan Mela. All enjoy. And you all enjoy it. But that was originally started by but that was originally started by Tamal Krishna Goswami with all the GBCs. And uh, it also read uh, Chaitanya Charitamrita, the second books. And he also would read from the Chaitanya Charitamrita and different second books. So that the kind of higher spiritual. So that was a kind of a higher spiritual association. And uh, you know, we heard that the different levels of disciples. So we heard that there are different levels of disciples. A young disciple, Adam disciple, Adam. Adam disciple doesn't follow the Guru. A Kanishtha disciple follows but not very good. The Kanishtha disciple follows but not very good. But not very good. And one girl, Aligari, he follows strictly. The Madhya Adhikari, he follows strictly. Also, disciple, you know how the Guru is telling him. He understands and does it. A Uttam disciple, even without the Guru telling him, he understands the Guru's desire. I have personally witnessed in Vrindala, a Prabhupada just straight his hand, and then immediately come out just out of the window. I personally witnessed in Vrindala how Shri Prabhupada waved his hand, and Tamal Krishna Maharaj immediately opened the windows. Well, he knew exactly what Tamil wanted, even he didn't say anything. He knew exactly what Sri Prabhupada wanted, even he didn't say anything. So, it was uh, in a very uh, unique devotee. So, he was a very unique devotee. And uh, I'm missing his association a lot. And I'm missing his association a lot. I just want to speak a few words. Just, right, just wanted to speak a few words. And uh, he was my first GBC when I was a temple president. He was my first GBC when I was a temple president. And uh, I, I couldn't really satisfy him. I couldn't really satisfy him. But nonetheless, I think he was the right. But nonetheless, I think he's a very wonderful devotee. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.
Thank you for watching our videos. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. And don't forget to like and share our channel.